Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Alyssa Cooper, and this is Cooking in Quarantine, Insurrection Edition. So I'm going to start out by saying, for those of you who get upset when I go on a rant, when I use swear words, tune out now, because I'm going to probably swear today, and I'm not going to apologize for it. How about that? So, what went down yesterday is absolutely unacceptable. I understand that as soon as I get off of this show, I'm going to go watch Joy Reid talk about the difference in the way that the police handled themselves during the Black Lives Matter, largely peaceful protests, and the way they, ha they handled things when they, we stormed the freaking building that they are supposed to protect. This is absolutely unacceptable. And I don't care who you voted for. I don't care why you vote. Are you an abortion voter? Are you a no taxes voter? Are you an equal rights for everybody voter? I don't care why you vote, but if you are okay with what happened yesterday, stop watching me. I don't want your eyes on me. I don't want any of it. I can't stand it. This was absolutely the most repulsive thing I've ever seen happen in my country in my lifetime. So, that said, boys and girls, again, I had a friend tell me a few weeks ago, oh, I was watching your show, but you know, you're so political, you're going to lose 30% of your audience. Bye-bye. Not going to take it. Not going to have it. If you think that this is the appropriate way to handle yourself when you're in a dispute, then go back to school and take a couple of debate classes because storming the freaking barricades is not the way to do it. Did you not see Les Mis? For God's sakes, it ended badly. Oh, it's infuriating. So, anyway, um, I am hoping that, hello, lovey Kelly. So, all I can say, darlings, is that you need to rethink this. And I, for one, am hopeful that I saw the implosion of the horror that has become the GOP in the 40 years since Reagan. Now, if you didn't know that Reagan was evil, you weren't paying attention. And the 20 years it took to get us to a place where that evil bastard was in office was 20 years of people working on evil. So that's 60 years. That's three generations of evil motherfuckers working to put evil into power. And this is what you've wrought. So if you don't change your uh, uh, check and make sure that your political affiliations are correct this morning, then we got a problem. And like I said, get your eyes off me because I don't want it. Don't want it. Anybody who could think that that is the way to do things. And I'm just going to say, just to point out to you that Josh Hawley stood on the Senate floor and used the non-word irregardless yesterday. So that's the brain trust that you, Missouri, thank you, have wrought upon us. Now, don't get wrong, two, two or three of my favorite people be in Missouri. And I, uh, I texted Corey, Corey Johnson, is that the, the mother that, of uh, the Ferguson lady who's just been, I texted her this morning. And all, uh, I twi tweeted her, and uh, Schumer, and Pelosi, and AOC, and Ilhan Omar, and Amy Klobuchar, and everybody could think of at 4 o'clock this morning and said, invoke the 25th. And guess what I saw when I went to check the time right before I hit go? Sch Schumer has gone to Pence and said, invoke the 25th or impeach by the end of the day. So guys, here's what I'm going to say. This monster... As monstrous as he's been the last four years, he has proven now that he cannot be trusted with sensitive information moving forward. We have got to remove him. He cannot get security briefings for the rest of his miserable, pathetic life. Because you know what he's going to do? He'll just sell it because he doesn't care about anything but money. And as long as he thinks that there's somebody who might give him a, a, a pass, what do you call those things when you don't have to go to jail? Anyway, this is how mad I am. I'm losing my vocabulary. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. And I don't know what to say, but it's got to be done. This is out of control. So, anyway, I'm glad y'all watched me uh, dry the dishes this morning. Um, 
but that gave, you know, sometimes you got to have a little business so that you can rant properly. So, uh, yes, on Twitter, I twit, uh, or was what on Twitter? I don't know. I just, hit, I had a headline that Schumer told Pence he's got to invoke the 25th. So, here we go. Everybody, all the people who post, uh, I went by this morning were basically saying the same thing. So it's time to be rid of him. There will, all, there will always should have been an asterisk next to his name, but now there will be. The other thing I'm going to say is that the first thing this that I woke up when I woke up this morning and checked the headlines and listened to the first little bit of the news was she was right. They are deplorable. They are deplorable. And people like that have always scared me. I've never been comfortable around the gun-toting set, unless I know you well enough to know that you're a responsible person, and a reasonable person. No, I'm not gonna feel comfortable. And that makes me very uncomfortable. And you know, somebody tried to make it okay the way that the police handled themselves yesterday, saying, hey, you know, a bunch of lefties, the Black Lives Matter crowd, are not likely to be armed, right? maybe a stick or a knife, it was certainly not guns, these guys were all, you know, armed to the teeth. And of course, that's exactly what I said the morning after the election in 2016. I said, all these angry, underemployed, ignored people in the middle, they're mad and they're armed to the teeth. And they're also horrible racists because I'm sorry if you didn't notice the swastikas and the and the old glories flying all over, what do, what do you call that thing? The Confederate flag everywhere. I'm sorry, if you own a Confederate flag, you're already a traitor in my book. I'm sorry, you can't. We fought a war about that and you lost. And if you own or wear or sport a swastika, you're already a traitor. We had a war about that and you lost. So stop with the fucking lost cause. It's done, it's over, and guess what? You've got black grandchildren now, stop hating. They're in your family. The whole Lily White thing, it's gone no more. It never had any meaning. The only way we got to the place of ascendancy we did was through lies, cheating, murder, and death. So there you go. Proud, proud white tradition, right? Good God Almighty. So yesterday, I made a comment about, you know, this is why we say defund the police, because clearly there is a wide racist branch, at least in the, in the Capitol Police, who literally escorted these people in. We got to root the racism out. It can't be accepted in institutions any longer. And there are psychological tests that are very easily given to people that can't be manipulated, that you can say, I'm so sorry, but you're a racist and you can't be a police officer. <sighs> so, if you know, if you don't know how I feel, then you weren't listening. So, I'm starving and Georgia is blue. After this is over, I think I'm going to go and try to buy some new blue shirts, but I do have my little blue pendant on today. Whew. I'm going to get my this little thing out here. And, oh yes, I'm going to, I couldn't even remember what we're making today. Look, I found a small can of San Marzano's, so I'm going to make a little tomato sauce. And... I've got a little here and a little dough that I picked up from the guys downstairs. And my mushrooms are still sitting here, covered overnight, but still just sitting here. I mean, I don't know if you were aware, but after I finished my show, the world went topsy-turvy. Um, and so I did not really get anything done. That's why I'm still washing dishes here. I had to read the newspaper all morning and I sat with my friend Angry Alex screaming at the TV last night. Um, so let's see, guys. How are we gonna get, how are we gonna get this started? I guess we start by opening the can of tomato sauce. It's very hard to do things that are, you know, that require a little patience and and attention when you're as freaking mad as I am right now. Do you think about it? You know, we talk about oh, America's America is so superior. 
But we look like idiots. We look like idiots to the whole of the world. If we, if we on the 21st has to come back to the Paris Climate, climate Accords, I wouldn't be surprised if they say, yeah, we're not sure we want to play with you guys anymore. I wouldn't trust us. So anyway, here's what I'm going to do to start my tomato sauce. Again, I've got this uh, garlic oil that I saved from a couple weeks ago. So let's wet our pan with this. Here we go. And let's see. Anybody out there want to come on to camera? Let's see. Anybody out there available? <laughs> oh. Kel, you want to come on and yell with me? You're welcome to. Tell me yes if you want. I found them. I found you. <laughs> um, let's see. Yes. You should have been on that call. We should have gotten you on that call. That was all kind of wrong. All right, here we go. So I'm going to try to get my burner to start. And of course, this one won't start today. There it goes. Ta-da. So I'll let that oil heat up a little bit. I'm going to get a couple pieces of the garlic itself and put those, smash those into this pan. Because that's really going to be the basis. I need to not use metal because I am, in, I've got a nonstick pan over here. There we go. I'll smash it with this. Here we go. So I've got the last few pieces in this jar, and I'll just plop that in there. Mmm, good smelling stuff. So delicious. This is. I may even use this to rub down my my dough. I might even make just a piece of dough. Uh, still in your PJ. So yeah, you're not you're not ready. I'm not wearing pants. I can't come on camera. Ah, oh, it's the perfect thing, right? All right, so I've just smashed my garlic down into my oil and I'm turning the heat way down. Here we go. Smash, smash, smash. And then I'm gonna take a big handful of Italian seasoning. And it's like Sheldon Cooper on Big Bang Theory says, my mama always made me spaghetti with hot dogs. She calls that a real Italian treat. So now I'm just going to let these go right, the, all that big handful of herbs go right down in there. And I'm going to put a little bit of this tomato sauce right in here. There we go. This is just San Martano crushed tomatoes. And then I'm going to smash them some more. Mmm, smash, smash, smash. There we go. So now I'm just going to let this cook for a little while, right? Maybe put a little salt and pepper in there. Maybe some crushed red pepper. That all sounds like a good idea. And the reason I'm doing it in the skillet is because I like to cook pretty fast. If I did it in a little saucepan, it'd be thicker, you know, or a taller in the pan. You see, I'm not speaking very clearly today. It's because I'm still in shock from the to learn that I don't live in the country that I thought I lived in. Um, let's give it. We've already got the good garlic in there. Uh oh. Well, evidently the parsley wants to get in there. So hmm. Maybe we'll let it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a little. Since the parsley fell in the pot, I think I should put a little parsley in it. It only sounds right. That seems fair. Perfect. We'll put that back there. And what else do I need in here? Is there anything else in my cupboard? Yes, there is. Red chili flakes. Right? Chili flakes go in everything at my house. Yeah, plenty of them too. And a little salt because I got the no salt added so I always would rather use my salt than have somebody else salt for me there we go. oh it's smelling great already mmm mommy all right so that seems pretty good I think that can simmer for a little while I can't do the floppy thing. It would flop right on my face and I have to go to the hospital with third degree burns. Um, I guess I'll need a little flour for this. Um, if you haven't, there's uh, lots of petitions out there this morning on social media to sign calling for the removal of the current resident of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Um, I would love to see them removed because then the Bidens could go ahead and get that house claimed before they have to move into it. 
um, and all that good stuff. So let's see, a little flour. Um, you know I always like to sift my flour just because it's fun. And I get have more things I have to clean up. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yesterday, the uh, White House Council told all the people who work in the, in the West Wing to stay physically far apart from 45 lest they be caught up and accused of treason, treason under the Sedition Act. How about that? When the White House counsel has to tell the employees to stay away from their boss, or they might go to prison for life. <laughs> That's my schadenfreude laugh. It's back in in full force. So here we go. This is a small bowl, but I'm going to make a piece, a pizza about the size of my little flat iron, right? So, just want to pull it apart if I can. This is still pretty chilly in here. Ooh, it might need a rise. It might need another proofing, right? But it's nice and greasy. Mmm. And I might even be able to just pull it out a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. mm, it's getting a little thin over there, so I gotta hang it a different way. I don't mind. My sauce is looking good. Oh yeah, this is gonna look great. Oh baby. I have a hole over here that I should try to fix. There we go, try to fix the hole. Now, I might have too much flour on here, so I'm gonna toss some of it off if I can, or at least spread it out a little more. There we go, that seems better. Excellent, I wonder if I have a rolling pin nearby. Hmm, I bet I do. Give me two seconds. Somebody watch the sauce. these days I'm going to have a kitchen that's big enough to have all of my kitchen equipment in at the same time. That would be so nice, wouldn't it? I'm just going to flour this a little bit so it doesn't get too sticky. And I just want to spread this out a little bit bigger and a little bit rounder because I, it's kind of, kind of started off with a D, right? So now I'm going to try to make my D more of an O. Ew. Imagine we don't ever have to see those lips go, ooh, ever again. I can't wait for it to go away forever. I don't ever want to hear about it. And if freaking Mark Burnett puts him back on TV, I think it's time for us to go and tell them that they're kissed by an angel or whatever thing, that their goodwill from that has run out with God and it's time to stop promoting this asset. So that's my thought and feeling on the situ on the scenario. Um, and here we go. Well, it's really more like a man in the moon. Let's see if I can get this on around. But I'm feeling pretty good about it. Now, the next thing I should probably do is have warmed up the oven and gotten my pizza thing, my pizza stone cooking. Um, I'm going to take my thing, and I'm, since this is clearly what I'm using to stir with today, because the world has gone topsy turvy, and so have I. So, oh, that looks, that's going to be really, really beautiful once it cooks just a little bit more down. I want just a little, want it to dry out just a little bit more, and that's going to be great. So, what's in my oven, I wonder? Oh, look, nothing but this. Perfect. So, let me put just, a, like I said, just a little drop of this on here, my olive oil, to kind of grease up my pan. And maybe just a little bit of regular olive oil also, just a little bit. So I don't really want to have like a, you know, a cooked crust kind of thing. I want my crust to cook, but you know what I mean. I don't want it to be greasy, greasy. But I don't want it to stick. Here we go. And perfect and beautiful. And now I'm going to crank this baby way up high. I'm going to let this guy get hot. This is almost cooked down completely, right? This was pretty full and now it's really getting cook, cooking down. I love it, it's exactly what I wanted. This will be ready in just a minute. I need now um, queso, formaggio. So I've got some good Reggiano Parmesan. Yes, the stuff is crazy expensive, so always try to get a centerpiece if you can. Uh, so you don't have two pieces or a huge long piece of rind. 
um, where you don't get full use of it. There we are. And here we are. And so I'm going to need my grater. And do I have, let me see, I need a small bowl. Yes, fake news. I never want to hear fake news ever again. And frankly, I know that this may seem unkind, but nothing really would be better for the world than for Rupert Murdoch to die. Um, because what he has, the role he has played in this demise of our country is absolutely not to be misunderstood. And as I always say to people who are like, oh, you just believe what you believe because you watch CNN, which by the way, I don't, um, except on rare occasion. Um, I believe what I believe because it's the right way to believe. And I always say though, you know what, even if I were watching CNN, I'd rather have my positions uh, manipulated by an American than by an Australian. So people, I think, sometimes don't even realize what they're doing or what they're watching or who's feeding them garbage. It's just amazing to me. So anyway, I'm just going to do a little bit of this to get a few bits of yummy, 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 high-quality, delicious, salty, marvelous parmigiano. Just a little bit because it's a little pizza, all right? very springy. It doesn't want to stay in the position that I want it to stay in. Here we go. Just a little bit. Springy, springy. Okay. And then we need some mozzarella. All right. Just a little mozza, 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 mozza. So what I'm going to say to you gals and guys out there is what are you going to do to take care of yourself today? And what are you going to do to fight for democracy. You need to sign petitions, make a payment, write, call your representatives and tell them that this is unacceptable. An armed insurrection by a sitting president is not acceptable. So I encourage you to spend your time today doing that. And, ooh, beautiful. Beautiful, perfect little tiny bowl. That's what we all need to do with our time today, is make sure that we're doing something to help and make a, make a vow to no longer do anything that hurts. And as I said to my girls this morning, the way you test whether you're on the right side of history or not is, are you fighting for everyone or are you fighting for everyone that looks like you? That's pretty easy, right? I think we all could figure that out. So, let's see. I need to slice up a little cheese and I think it's going to be easier with a serrated knife than with a uh, straight edge knife. So it's, I'm so glad I have the wheels these days. It makes my life so much easier. So I'm going to do it pretty thin and just get a few slices. So I want it to be pretty well covered, right? And there we go. That seems about right. I'm going to set this aside because before I pull this hot stone out or this hot uh, skillet out, I need to move this plastic thing. Excellent. And I need to make sure I have all the things I need here ready for making the pizza. I haven't had a pizza in a while. And you know that my favorite pizza place in New York, Waldy's, Waldy, open the pizza place back up, please, um, has closed. And now I have no place to get the little tiny, uh, super thin crust gourmet pizzas that I have become accustomed to, right? Uh, here we go. So I'm just gonna try to lay that on there really nicely. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Perfect. It fit perfectly. And now I'm going to go for my shrimp. Just get all of these things over here so I can work with them. Next. So I'm going to need some tomato sauce. This will be easier. Here we go. 
So just give that a little smear. I don't like to have a lot of anything because I like my, like I said, I like those little super thin crust, crust pizzas the best of all. And so you certainly don't want them to get damp, right? You want your crust to be able to be crusty. Okay, there we go. I can move that a little bit. I want to get the sauce to the edge. Whew. Yeah, I should probably, I probably will have to label this one. No, it's not for children. No, people under 18 can't watch this. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. I've got some of this on, and uh, maybe I'll just put a little, because why not, just a little of my parmy here, because I like things to get all oogie together, right? Mm. And you can always use the other side, which make really, you know, super fine. So now I'm just going to grab this handful of shroomy, shroomy shrooms and put them all on here. I love mushrooms. Like, I am crazy for mushrooms. I could probably consider becoming a vegetarian if I could keep the cheese and the dairy and you could make mushrooms for me a million ways every day. But I'd have to win the $400 million lottery and have a personal chef because that's a lot of creativity. I don't know. I'm not sure that I'm that creative. I struggle trying to figure out how to make new things most days here, <laughs> here in my kitchen. <laughs> Oh, I have two pieces of cheese together. We have to break them up. That would be too cheesy. We can't have too cheesy. But that would be me, too cheesy. There we go. Almost, almost, and almost. And that leaves happily the little end piece for me to eat. There's still a little bit of parmy. I can put that on top. And I think it's going to be cute if we put a little herb just for a little speckle, whoopsie. Herbs, 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 herbs. More herbs, more herbs, more herbs. Very good, more herbs. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna imagine that it's gonna take about 10 minutes to cook this. So it will probably take me the whole of the 10 minutes just to get my thing to stop blinking eights. <laughs> hmm. If I had some other device closer, I'd use it too. Anyway, so let me, did I hang them back up? No, put them over here. Like I said, my cousin reached in to get something out of a 400 degree oven and grabbed it with her bare hands the other day. I don't think she's a happy camper. All right, we are in. I'm going to have to use a different timer, but there's that. So all I can say, guys, is now that we're cook now that my pizza's cooking, and I'm looking forward to having a little yummy lunch treat. By the way, I was gonna make salad frise, but I went to the store and came home with everything I needed that I didn't have except a shallot. And like, oh, I had a shallot. Oh, well, maybe later today we'll get back on here and I'll make salad frise. Um, so anyway, guys, all I can say is. Take a deep breath and consider what's going on in the world and make sure you're thinking right. That's all I can say. Please think right. Get on the right side of history. If you've got prejudices or bigotries in your head, get them out. I promise you that anyone that you look down upon, it's not anything to do with them. It's everything to do with you. The only people who are bigots and racists and look down on people are people who feel so small inside themselves that they have to look down on other people in order to feel a tiny bit better. And that's just sick. So don't do that. Stop that. Get some freaking help. And if you are one of those people who actually understands that and you're looking for a new career, we're going to be 16,000 counselors short by 2025. So if you're a good student, go to school. Uncle Joe is probably going to give us a lot of good money to go to school. And so if you want to get a second career, a third act, that's a great option because there's a lot of broken people in this country. So boys and girls, be better. Build back better. That's all I can say. If you don't build back better, you're the problem. 
I said to somebody this morning uh, who made a comment on my childhood minister's uh, Facebook page, we were taught, somebody said something about, you know, love your neighbor, and I always make the point that there's no exception to love your neighbor. He doesn't say love your neighbor unless your neighbor is Latino, or love your neighbor unless they're gay or love your neighbor, but only if they're fancy gays. You can't, you know, whatever. It doesn't say that. So you have to love God, assuming that you are a Christian. You have to love God. You have to love your neighbor, and every single one of them, all are your neighbor. You can't say that you love God and hate any of his creations. Pretty easy, right? And number three, be a good steward of the earth. So if you support the 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 political side of the aisle that is always trying to push back regulations to be able to further rape Mother Earth, you can't call yourself a Christian. How about that? You cannot be against saving the environment. You cannot not do everything that you can. You call yourself a Christian because you must be a good steward of the earth. And that, boys and girls, I think I've covered it for everybody today. I wonder how many minutes my pizza's been in. I gave up on my timer. But my other iPad is right here. And at least I can, oh my, I really did. Ooh, evidently. I should have watched MSNBC this morning. Joe Scarborough dropped an F-bomb live on TV. I wonder how much that will cost them. <laughs> um, so anyway, I need to probably set a timer so that I don't burn this pizza up. Let me give myself four minutes here because I have no idea how long it's been in there. Let me get my little flashlight because, you know, I don't have a light inside my 70s vintage amazing little oven. Oh, it's puffing up quite nicely. Four minutes might be just right. So while I put the dirty things in the sink and think, put aside the things that need to be stowed away, uh, maybe you can stick around a few seconds longer and see what my pizza looks like when it comes out of the oven. And... Um, all that. So, boys and girls, thank you for being here for my expletive-laden rant. Um, this is not the country that I had was raised to believe in. My mother told me every day of my life that I was privileged to have been born in the United States at the time in which I was born, and there had never been a better time or better place to be a woman in the history of humankind. She was mistaken. But she made a good point, right? Um, and I, I am just shocked. I'm not shocked. I'm really not shocked. Just like I wasn't shocked that we've been locked inside for a year with a, a pandemic. So these are all the kinds of things that I frankly have expected because that's exactly what we've been building to. If you have watched, if you've read newspapers for the last 40 years, you knew it was going to come to this. You knew that's what they want. That's what they want is to put aside the rule of law and have the rule of the oligarchy. If only you make more than $400,000 a year, are you allowed to vote? The rest of us are three-fifths of a person, right? That's probably where we're headed. Um, and thankfully, Mitch McConnell has been muzzled. So boys and girls, don't get complacent. We need to pull a Stacey Abrams in every state in the union. And we need to pray that... If the monster from 1600 Pennsylvania is allowed to live and walk and talk among us, that he starts another political party and takes all those crazies with him. Because that'll break up the GOP and they won't have any power anymore to do the crazy stuff of, oh, let's roll back and let's go drill in the Arctic? Who are you people? Do you think that just because you're 80 and you might make another... 10 or 15 million dollars before you die at 90, that that's going to have any impact? Your children and your grandchildren are going to burn. Literally. Literally. Burn. So, you either like us or you hate us. You're either with us or you're against us, I say. Oh, that looks great, boys and girls. Here we go. One. One is the love. Oh, baby, baby, baby. There you go. It's lunchtime. So, I'm hungry and I'm angry. That makes hangry. So, 
Y'all go eat something good for you and go and do something good for the world. And then do come back and do a little something good for yourself. I love you all. All hail democracy. Ciao, guys. <laughs>